Hey, so this is part two of our Tailwind Responsive Utility classes. In part one, we looked at setting up our Hero section for our desktop and our card section for our desktop. So we tackled both of those sections. So now in part two, we'll be looking at this, uh, the header, these buttons, and the footer down here. So I did notice something on the cards just now. Uh, the height is not right. So let's fix that first and then we'll get into those three sections. Okay, so let's take a look here. So we left off here in our cards. So this is highlighted with these squiggly marks. So I guess that makes it the issue. So right away, we're not using full. We want the screen. So let's change that. So min height screen. And it's still a squiggly mark. So we've got min height screen two thirds. Oh, here we have X should be XL. So let's save that. So hopefully this one's a card one. Well, the squiggly lines are gone, so that's a good sign. Let's see here. Okay, so on this one, it looks like it's fixed now. So now it's full screen. The heights are consistent with the two. Okay, cool. Okay, so in, what should we do now? So we're going to look at these buttons here. So I got these buttons here. And I want to adjust these. And I think all I have to do is just update this CSS file here. So I'm going to do this. So I wanted to show you this in the CSS file because you don't add uh, these prefixes. You have to kind of adjust or create these media query sections. So you do screen and your media size. So we're going to do MD. I think we're going to actually small first. And let's go up MD, add an MD and also a large. Now I'm going to grab this. And I want to adjust this the padding size here. So PX, let's try 8. OK, let's save that and see what that looks like. Oh, kind of need to. Uh, I think, yeah, if I go like that, it should fix. Oh, it's still building right now. So for this, I want this to be extra small, actually, on the button. And from small and up, I want it to be text SM. And I want the PY to be a little bit bigger as well. So PY3. So let's save that. And for these, on the medium screen, there's a lot more space. And then it gets smaller on our large screen for where our buttons are. So I want the PX to be much larger, 16 on the med on the oops, should be medium. And on the large, I want it to be back to kind of the same as that, or just a little bit bigger than this. And make that 10. So on all those sizes, might be hard to tell on here, though. We must wait for it to build. Okay, loaded. So here's what it is on small. So you can see that it's tighter there. Then we get more space up above. And if I go to iPad, maybe this, it gets larger. So on here it's wide. 
and you can tell, and then it goes back smaller on large. So yeah, that should be good. So let me, so I think that's good for there. Don't even need to update this button, except for probably copy and pasting. So I'll leave that open. Okay. So let's open up this header. So I had to restart my computer, it was lagging a little bit, so I'm back now. So we can continue on with the header. So with the header, we got I got it open here. So we, what I want to do is on larger screens, this, this goes from black to transparent. And we got to figure out the whole mobile nav to regular nav or desktop nav. Oops, what's going on here? Okay, so let's take a look here. So first thing I notice is we should move these down. Because I'll be changing this main nav and not the header. And let's also, let's change this background to BG Gray 500. Just because when I make it transparent, this white background with the text, I won't be able to see. And I want to unhide this. So on medium screens, I want this to be flex. So it shows down here. And I unhid that. So I'm just waiting for it to update. And, and on medium, I want the text to be just base, I think. Let's try that text, base. And I want this py to be none because I only had that for giving it give it some space on uh, for the mobile menu so py zero okay oops let's take a look at our CSS here I'm going to turn on npm run watch tdub So I want to adjust these here because if I inspect this, I got some margin here. And I wanted to supply it to only the desktop version. So I got margin, margin right, and also margin right here. So let's do, and I also want to, so I'm going to grab the screen stuff that I did for the buttons. So this is going to be a medium, grab this, I want just the L, and duplicate that, last child. So on the last child of the LIs, I want it to be no margin here, so at the end. On all the other ones, I want it to have margin. I want to take off margin on the A. So there. And on the on the A, I also want to remove the PY. So no spacing on up and down here. So let's save all that as it's building. And I can go back here. And let's see what it looks like. So it's rebuilt. So there we can see on this last one, there's no margin, margin right, margin right. We remove the padding. So let's try to shift this up to the top here. So here I have class hidden. So let's do MD hidden to hide the menu. And up 
here, we'll do md no flex no wrap. Save that. Okay, that looks good. I think that looks good. Let's see what it looks like on Okay. Now I want to add some margin here or extra padding here. So on extra large, I want it to have px of 24 just to push it in a good amount. And I want to increase the PY here. So on oops, MD PY, of, let's try four. Yeah, that looks good. Okay, so we also want to set this to fixed and a Z index of 30. Okay. And while I did all of that, I wanted to make this transparent. That's why I made the background gray. BG transparent. Okay, that looks pretty good. So there, I don't know why the, yeah, there, it's just lagging a little bit. Let's do iPad. And on Pro, we should get an extra, yeah, extra indented there. Okay, that looks pretty good. All right, let's take a look at the footer. The footer. Okay, so we need to switch this over to from a gap of two to four. So let's do LG grid calls six. And we need to change this from LG calm span to one. So since this boom is taking two, and we need to do ju uh, LG justify item start to push it to the left. So let's save that, see what happens. I'm going to scroll down while it saves. And this one needs to be LG justify start LG call span. One. Oh. Did I not do grid call six? Oh. Okay. I was on uh I was on portrait, so on landscape this is where okay, so that pushed over. Uh, this looks like it's going to push over once I change this gap size here. So I have a gap 20. So let's do LG gap and make it pretty tiny. Two. And that shrunk in and it looks like it's over. Now we need to make this text left. So here, there's my text. Uh, am I at the right spot here? Text center. So I'm just going to do class and do text. I'll do text. Left. 
then those should adjust the left. And I want to keep that. Yeah. Now this, I want this to be smaller because that boom is too big. LG H8. That doesn't look like it's shifting. Justify. Oh. Should be self. And that should adjust to the left there. And it looked like it's adjusted. Justify item start. Justify I. Well, it should be. No, it should be items. Why is this one self? Is that one self up here? Yeah, they're both self. Maybe that's it. They're supposed to be self. Okay, well, those are going. I need, and I also want to update these headers here. So, at string. LG. This one going to be large. Oops, I don't need all this. Update that. Let's take a look at what it looks like over here. I'll inspect it. Yeah, that looks okay now. Maybe it's just on that screen. Oops. Put this up to 100%. And we can inspect it. Put the footer and. Yeah, they're all to the left. Okay. And they look good. And uh, these just changed. Okay, so I think that's everything. Let's paste everything over. So I'm going to grab everything and paste it over into the index. Okay, so let's start off. Let's get the index. So hero. Now let's go with header. So yeah, so typically all these, like if you're working in a framework, like a front end framework, or you're working in a, on the back end, a lot of this stuff is modular. So you wouldn't have to do this anyways, but I just wanted to do it this way for, to make it a little bit easier. Instead of jumping back, jumping back and forth with the, with the index file. Cause it gets pretty complicated when the code is that long. I'm just fast forwarding this part because I'm just copy and pasting. Okay, so that looks good. Transparent here. This is fixed. Got that. It's all working. And our bottom footer. It's inspected. So we can compare it in mobile and desktop. Okay, so this is what it looks like. Uh, yeah, let's go to iPad Pro. So it's this is extra large screen. And then we'll go to iPad. So this is large screen. And this is medium screen where we added the padding. And iPhone. So this is, yeah, that's medium screen again. So this would be hidden normally. 
and on here. Let's quickly hide that just so we can see it. So on index on the header. It'll be hidden. And that should be hidden. So that's hidden now. And if that's on small screens, okay. So we'll, well, once we figure out this part and click on here, it'll open up our mobile menu. So we'll leave that hidden for now. I think I'm going to stop here. So in the next video, we'll take a look at transitions and transforms. So I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed the content so far. If you have any questions or feedback, please leave a comment down below. To stay updated with the latest content from the channel, you can subscribe by clicking right here in the middle.